Hey YouTube, what's up world, it's us Link. Today I am presenting you one of my dream projects I've always wanted to develop, Valley of the Dam. Before I even continue, this project is based off, or not based off, but inspired by Nintendo and Dragon Force. Dragon Force is a British metal, uh, speed metal band. You might know for their song Through the Fire and Flames, very popular in the Guitar Hero series. Um, but this is based off their first album, which is Valley of the Dam, which I think was released back in 2000, 2001, I can't remember. But they worked on it back in 1999, and obviously released it um, in the 2000, very, very early 2000s. So that's what this uh, project's based off of, inspired by them and Nintendo, if you can see, obviously, from the uh, graphics. Now, I disabled system audio recording because Snag does not give you the modification, or the option to modify system volume levels, but... You can obviously see there is audio within the game. So that was just a cover of Valley of the Dam by Pony Force. So credits to that guy. His cover is ama amazing. So let's get into the game. I want to first show you guys some gameplay. Um, so the basics. Uh, we do have Wasad for moving. Spacebar is to use your sword or basic attack. X is to switch uh, your inventory. Whatever inventory item you're using. Z is to go ahead and use it, and C is to interact. Um, there are some objects around the world you can interact with. Um, obviously, you can see we have SNES graphics. This is based off um, the graphics are off from a Link to the Past. And I'm gonna say this um, before I even continue. This is the very first integration of Valley of the Dam. Sometime in the future, maybe it could be a few years from now, maybe five years, ten years, even a few months. Who knows? But sometime in the future, I will continue to build upon this world and make it better. Gameplay-wise, it's more like an NES NES style game, but I want to go ahead and improve on that. So may sometime in the future, I know this is just the very first integration. This project will be touched upon again, but this is just the first integration of Valley of the Dam. So um, I'm going to show you um, getting the second crystal. Uh, of, of course, the recording is lagging in the game, so I apologize about that. Um, I first, I already got the first crystal, which uh, gave me the um, oh, God. <laughs> they gave me the uh, boomerang. So we need to go ahead and get bombs in order to continue. Oh God! And obviously, if you guys know me and my Freddy's May series, me and Matt's game, I've obviously uh, if you touch the walls, you spawn back to your spawn point. I think that was a little bit fun to add. Now we need to hit our boomerang with the switch to unlock, to get rid of that boulder. The sword will not work, only the boomerang. Um, there's a little hits and tricks of uh, unlocking certain things into this game. You need to use certain items. And we got the bombs. Get five bombs at the start. Now we can continue. Oh my god, the recording's lagging in the game so badly. Oh boy, oh boy. Got a heart spawn right there, anyway. So a neat trick with this room is, let's just kill this guy real quick. Get that. Drop a bomb right there. Go ahead, use diagonal movement. Yes, diagonal movement is part of this game. I feel like it gives the player a bit more freedom to move around, plus um, there are certain strategies you can use with uh, diagonal movement. Alright, let's kill this guy so we can get out, him out of the way. Obviously, we can't go past this boulder. We'll get into that in a few. I am sucking so badly. Oh god. That was a bomb spawn, by the way. Um, if you guys know CP Thart, and you know how long he was in Dragon Force, you will understand this Easter egg. Um, that's what I meant by using C to interact with certain objects in the world, not just for Easter egg purposes, but also for progression as well. Put a bomb right there. Blow up that boulder for us. Now, we gotta be careful in this room. As that will happen, spawn right next to a death pitchfork. And thankfully, this is a safe spot. 
Aha. Kill that guy. I don't want to get hit. I really feel comfortable having two heart. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now we don't. Now we only have one heart. I actually might die. Um, the coming boss. So I'm actually going to go ahead, take the risk, and get some hearts. And yes, the gameplay is also, like I said, or most of the gameplay based off Zelda. Zelda style. Um, I don't feel comfortable taking on the boss with just one heart. Because I don't want to visit the game over screen. That would be very, very sad. So I'll just kill this guy a couple times. Ah, you fucking piece of shit. I'm sucking so bad. Like, when I record, I start to suck. I don't understand why. Okay, I'm just gonna get one more. I feel comfortable now. Oh, I always hate that. But since we already unlocked to go to the next area to get to the boss. Oh, fuck. You know what? Three hearts is good. I, I, I really don't care. Alright, this, this is the wizard's tower. Now, each boss, um, there is a little bit of a backstory behind each of their powers. I guess you guys will find that out if you play through the game. God damn it. Okay, so I died. I did not save as well in the middle of that, so I'm going to pause the recording and get back to where I was. So, uh, be right back. Okay, so I'm back to where I was. I apologize about that. But as I was saying, each boss does have certain, um... Well, I want to say backstories, but ex explanations to their powers. Um, you'll see that most definitely in the third boss and the final boss for sure. Um, and the first boss, I did not showcase that, but this is just the basic little piece of shit wizard. He kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, but he can trick you if you're not careful. Um... The reason why is where you're standing is very vulnerable, um, and as he switches around throughout the area, you can get hit, and that magic ball does cost you two hearts of damage, as you see right there. I just got... I wasn't paying attention, so if you don't pay attention, you can't die. And we do get the second god crystal. Now, in the future, I will make a playthrough of this game, but I'm going to tell you guys right now that this game, the player decides if the game wants to be short or wants to be long. This game does offer, I guess, plenty of content, maybe, if I want to say that, but it's also lengthy if you make it lengthy. If you want to make it short... And go then it's gonna be obvious if you want to make the game short make it short however there is a way to make the game longer than it should be and if you do that if you make the game longer and more enjoyable to play I don't know if it'll be enjoyable unless you just want to figure out the story <laughs> but I'm just saying the player decides if the game is short or not so if the player decides to make the game long he or she will find out about the story of behind the game so that's value the damn so far if you guys want to download it links down below in the description I have my uh, portfolio up so if you guys want to see that um, go to the value of the damn tab and check out more information I will do another video explaining what certain gameplay mechanisms I put and didn't put in when it comes to the Legend of Zelda especially Link to the Past and the original um, but yes, this is S-Link, thanks for watching, Valley of the Damn Gameplay, the game has finally been released, this is just the first integration, sometime in the future, I don't know when, but I will touch on this project again, and improve it, I promise that. So, this is S-Link, peace.
Peace out, guys.